I wanted to do a comparison between scopes and open sights or iron sights on air rifles and which are better and a lot of time it's going to be situational so you can see that the BSA Hornet at the bottom has a sort of rear iron sight there and if we go along to the end of the barrel we've got the front sight there whereas the Crossman Nitro Venom doesn't have any front or rear sights it's just literally a rail where you install a scope on it so we've got a BSA 2.2 scope on there now my personal view is pretty much of any rifle that they should always have iron sights as the standard and then a scope mount if you want to install a scope but a scope should always complement iron sights but you know iron sights should be the basic thing because it means that you can hit you know without any messing about it's the standard thing um, so that's one of the things that annoys me the Crossman as so much as it's a much better air rifle than the BSA it's a gas ram you know it has nice wooden furniture I actually like the BSA that has iron sights because it means I can plink in the garden for fun more easily and it's less dependent on eye relief and lighting and everything else like a scope is and it's faster to zero. So I thought what I'd do is demonstrate uh, because the um, BSA isn't zeroed for the pellets and nor is the um, um, what's it sorry the Crossman as neither of the air rifles uh, zeroed properly for the pellet although the um, BSA uh, Hornet is shooting a bit closer I think. What I want to do is try showing you a target in the distance and seeing which hits more often um, with a non-zeroed scope or non-zeroed irons just because of the fact that I think it's faster to zero iron sights than a scope and you can generally get more of an idea where a pellet's going. Now our target's over there about 8 yards away. See it there? Um, so I'm going to first use the BSA Hornet which is the spring rifle of the iron sights and see if I can get any hits on it. the BSA Hornet with iron sights tested as they say a watch kettle never boils and I think that's pretty true there I had hit that a bit earlier with some other pellets um, but then of course when I went to do the video I only hit it a couple of times out of about 10 shots uh, but what I want to do now is test the Crossman with its scope and see if without zeroing that because I wasn't trying to zero the BSA as I went along if I can zero um, you know shoot this without zeroing the scope and see if I get any hits you know on the target using the exact same pellets. So, let's see. So if you excuse the shocking shooting on my part, um, well, not really my part, because it was down to not zeroing the things before shooting, um, I think it's sort of proven my point that I actually hit more times the BSA because of the iron sights. Now, the thing is with an iron sight is it's pretty much parallel to the barrel, though you'll zero it slightly for height and windage. So even if your pellet's shooting off a bit, it's going to be roughly in the area of where you're aiming, where with a scope it can be off by a lot more. Because obviously... Well, at least I haven't got a scope that does it, and I'd love a scope that would do it, but I don't think there are. There aren't any that show you the exact parallel of where the barrel is, you know, for zeroing. And that's the problem, is when I'm shooting the iron sights, even if I'm missing, I'm knowing I'm hitting pretty close to it. Um, whereas when I'm hit shooting with the scope, I have no idea where the pellets are going. I thought a lot of them were going high, but I wasn't sure where. It was only eventually that I lowered it by enough, um, you know, to hit the target and I was having to actually have both eyes open and looking one through the scope picture and one through where the barrel was sort of aiming before I was able to finally land a hit so it turns out I'd have to zero the crosshair up a lot to actually or sorry down a lot to actually be you know hitting where I was aiming um, so yeah that's sort of the problem I have with scopes is that you have to zero them a lot more for pellets on an air gun where I'd rather just have iron sights and be able to hit it if you had a PCP or something and always used the same pellets, 
yeah, scope would be really good, but my sort of problem for back garden shooting is if I switch to a new pellet brand, it's a lot faster to get the um, iron sights hitting where, you know, seeing what you're hitting, whereas with a scope it takes a lot longer to get a decent sight picture. And that's as well, I've got problems because I'm short sighted, I have um, a lot of eye relief problems when I'm using a scope, where I have to keep moving it forwards and backwards to get a good sight picture, whereas with iron sights I really don't have that problem at all. And it probably helps if you look at the um, BSA, how much further forward the rear sight is, compared to where the scope sits on that. If I had the scope fully forward on the Crossman, it would still be quite far back compared to where the, um, you know, the iron sights start on the BSA. So, um, yeah, obviously it's a bit confusing because it says BSA on the scope I'm using on the Crossman. But, uh, yeah. So, for me personally, for back garden shooting especially, that's going to be at sort of 20 yards at most, 10 yards, 5 yards, I would much rather have iron sights because I can quickly work out where a pellet's going and I can switch between pellets without much adjustment. But with a scope it's a lot trickier to actually sometimes figure out where your pellet's going, especially if you're not shooting at paper and then zeroing it in each time when you're shooting at quite a small target, you know, unless you can see the grass moving where the pellet's going, you're not going to really know. So that's my summary, hopefully the video's been not too boring for you. Personally, I prefer iron sights and then the option to install a scope if you want it. I don't like what they do now with a lot of air guns where you only get a rail and you're told to put a scope on or else. So, yeah, in terms of iron, iron sights versus scope on an air rifle, I would go with iron sights and install a scope if I'm going to be using it at a longer range. Thanks for watching.